All right, so this is, okay, it's Sunday. Let's take a look. This is Sunday, September 20th, my time, 3.07 p.m. Okay, so we're going to take a look at tomorrow. So I've just got tomorrow's chart up here. It's the 21st of September. This week's going to be important for us. We're going to have some tops and bottoms uh, at the end of September. So this week, as you can see here, if I do that, 25th here, then we've got the following week, 27, 28, 29, 30th okay so this whole month is quite important it's been a bit of a wavy month um, but let's see what we can do now tomorrow we've still got some um, we've, we've got a nice geometry first of all Neptune Jupiter Venus this will help the euro dollar all right so this will push the euro dollar um, forward with Venus and Neptune so we'll probably go to another high um, 1.20s is possible so with the euro dollar this will be helpful now this is pluto saturn conjunct mars is squaring saturn mercury is also squaring saturn if i was to do this just check here you'll see that on the 21st um, this is going to be exact so the sun moon that's not too important for us at the moment Venus 150 Jupiter so this will like I said will take probably um, euro dollar up a bit more until the evening so tomorrow we'll probably see on Monday that is we'll probably see it going higher Mercury 90 Saturn is this and Mars 90 Saturn is here right now okay so let's take a look at this as well on the, on the what's the matter tiger are you full yeah mommy's coming mommy's coming just a second all right so that's my little baby boy there um right and let's take a look at the declinations nothing really happening until the 24th which is venus parallel uranus let's take a look at the helio this is the helio chart oops the helio chart here tomorrow once again jupiter and saturn conjunct here this is also important this is going to um, a mark for us the heading to some tops the important thing we need to know here is this Jupiter and Saturn going to be exact on November all right so Jupiter Saturn being exact in November will probably give us um, a good top towards the elections all right so some markets will carry on heading up with their upwards trend until this date which is the 2nd of November coincidentally the date of the u.s elections okay and then afterwards on the latitudes we don't have anything except on the 23rd venus parallel saturn that's important neptune parallel pluto is also important so as you can see venus parallel jupiter on the 22nd venus parallel uranus on the 21st so on the latitudes from a heliocentric perspective we're going to be okay we're going to be quite busy all right and i'll tell you why that's important let's go back to the geocentric now this is the 21st we head to 22nd recalculate this is what we've got we've got a nice t-square as you can see this geometry is faded okay this is still going to be active as you can see venus and neptune active until the 23rd so this will still push the euro up okay um, and this t square will give us a nice bottom probably towards this week okay so this is going to be exact on the 23rd this is going to be exact on the 24th and this is going to be exact on the 29th now saturn and mars are very important because first of all saturn um, saturn sun uranus venus um, Neptune, Mercury, um, these are really important for um, the SP500, okay, according to its natal chart. So that natal chart is going to be important for us, so we're going to take notes on that, because on that day, these planets had, there you go, this is the natal of the SP500, let's do this, all right, so these planets play a major role and also the moon obviously 
Okay, we've spoken about the moon before. So as you can see, Venus and Uranus here, they're going to be bringing changes in value. Um, Sun, 90 Saturn. Sun is the SB500 with Saturn. Saturn is the limiter of everything. And Saturn is going to be notifying us of all the limits of where this is going. And the changes in value will be done with Venus and Uranus. And also with Neptune here, we've got levels as well. Now, Neptune, oh, how to look at Neptune. Now, you've got to evaluate Neptune. This is a financial planet. So according to the relationship with the others, this can take you to new highs and new lows. All right. So um, because Neptune is dreams, illusions, the surreal things, things that are not real, really. Uh, and things are like a bit fluidy nothing solid there all right so this is going to be important for us to capture those moments where we have actually limits which are not really you know feasible there's no value in it but it's like people's dreams and illusions whatnot mercury venus sun quite close to each other as you can see obviously not conjunct in any way according to my orbs um, and chiron here is the mild adjuster other than that, you know, other than these major planets, um, will there other will the planets also play a role? Obviously, Pluto will, simply because Pluto is active on the helio. There you can see Pluto and Mars on the helio and Mercury as well. So these aspects are going to be rather important um, for us to evaluate in everything. So Mercury, Pluto, and Mars. These are important aspects, important planets that we should be worried about when we're evaluating it. So let's switch the data back. This is back to the 22nd of September. This week, we're going to see a bottom in some markets. But what really should be interesting to all of us is this aspect here, Mars and Saturn. Now, like I said, this, uh, this aspect is quite dangerous to the whole world, actually. And... This week, until this um, T-square really dissolves, we're going to have um, some dramatic overloaded testosterone chit-chat or communication on the planet. So we need to be careful. As the day goes forward, we come to the 23rd. Now, as you can see, one part of that is gone. And the Moon and Mars... Now, this is already going to give us some support levels, so we'll probably see some buying action coming in, but still probably not the bottom of the market. 24th, let's recalculate. Market moves forward. So now you can see we've got some buy and good vibes coming in. The only thing that's keeping us from going any higher is this Mars and uh, Mars squaring Saturn. It's going to be exact on the 29th. So if I go to the 25th, as well now look at that pluto moon saturn these are all coming together as you can see jupiter is getting quite close now to both pluto and saturn now all of them coming together is going to be quite interesting because this is going to be marking like a historical top for us all right so pluto saturn conjunct with jupiter this is going to be historical tops and bottoms for um, for most markets so this is really a time period that we need to be careful for um, once again got Neptune Jupiter Pluto Venus these aspects they'll be good for the euro dollar the euro dollar I'm expecting to go up further um, so you can buy into the euro dollar actually um, Mars Saturn now being conjunct with Pluto and the moon is probably going to push us to some more bottoms with the stock exchange okay if i take a look at the helio as well we've got chiron and mercury now chiron is the adjuster okay it just wants you to do that retracement and it just wants to put you into the market at a nice spot where uranus and mercury are going to give us a point of change that's going to come around 26 25th okay so on the 26 25th well, 26 is a Saturday, but the 25th, and we could say, we could still use this for the 25th as well. The 25th, as you can see here, is going to be a Friday. So we'll probably have some positive vibes coming in where we'll probably be marking some bottoms. Right? So the 25th of September is going to be important. 
This could also be rather important for gold. All right, so let me just check my note on that one, <coughs> on gold. Well, what's important for gold? Well, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, this is important. So Mars and Saturn actually are quite important for gold. So if you're going to be trading gold, I'd be looking into this aspect really well. Also Saturn, Jupiter, this is going to be nice. Um, Jupiter and Saturn coming into a conjunction. So these are going to be really important time periods for us. Um, also Pluto to a limit, to a limit, uh, and Neptune and Sun as well, to a limit as well. So if I take a look at the Helio as well, once again, we've got Chiron here and we've got, let's see, on the 26th, we've got Venus contra Earth. So the value will um, will be at a limit then on the 26th, which is, I look at the latitudes as well, especially on those days where geometry fits in. Since we're going to end the week on the 25th, it's worthwhile keeping an eye on that as well. And here also on the Helio, like I said, Mercury 90 Chiron. Now, for gold, what we want to take a look at is Neptune, Sun, the Moon, um, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. All right, so these are going to be important for us. Anything, any moon aspect, um, moon aspect to Jupiter, to, to Mars, these are going to be really important. Um, also, Pluto having, um, also Pluto and Vesta are going to be important for gold. So if I take, if I add here set planets, anybody's interested in gold, can also check it out see what we've got okay there you go i've just added vesta on there and you can see vesta earth as well so this 25th i'll put this back on the geocentric as well let's see on the 25th where we're at there you go earth and vesta on the 25th look at that beautiful now vesta is important because vesta has a nice aspect uh, actually a square aspect with pluto on the natal uh, and vesta is also um, playing a role in the declinations um, with Venus. So Vesta does have some impact on gold and to see it here on the Helio is nice. Let's take a look at the geocentric. And on the geocentric, as you can see, it's quite close. Oops, let's put this up. It's quite close to Venus. All right, it's quite close to Venus. Um, so that will be actually a nice spot. Let's see if I take this one day back. Will it be conjunct? No, but it'll be there. Okay, that's still okay. 23rd, let's see if we've got a conjunction. 22nd. Mm -hmm. 21st. Okay, there you go. So they're conjunct on the 21st, all right? And this is a nice geometry. Venus, Vesta. Neptune, Jupiter, Yod. All right. So with gold, what we want to take a look at is obviously this Mars and Saturn aspect is very important. All right. Because Mars and Saturn, they were exact on the natal of gold. So that's going to work out for us. And the 29th is good. But with gold, you can already see that there is, um, there is support for it. So if I bring it back to the 25th, recalculate that's where we're at if I bring this to the 30th okay and as you can see Mars and Saturn are now off all right so Vesta and Pluto that's a direct aspect which is good for gold and then you got Uranus and Sun okay nice change news of good change here and with Mars Pluto Mars moon and moon to saturn and neptune to jupiter so this is actually going to be a good period well you know what the euro dollar looks like it's going to be going up all month um so euro dollar is looking good here as well all right and in terms of helio as you can see we've got jupiter and saturn here that conjunction is still going to be waiting for the elections and that will actually take us up until the election so this already is giving me a sign okay this is already giving me a sign that probably will be going up 
for a few things until, including indices, obviously, until the US elections. All right. So taking a look at the chart already, just a few minutes, is going to be important for us to determine how things are going to move forward. So as at this week, we'll probably come to see some bottoms. Important date, like I said, is the 29th of September when Mars, oh, look at that, Mars, Jupiter and Pluto together. All right, so that will already be a nice level. And let's see, Mars, Saturn, Mars, Pluto, that's going to be exact on the 9th of October. Okay, so that's already going to give us some move and push up from the bottoms. And Sun and Chiron exact at 3.30, which is actually 3.30 my time is 8.30 New York. So that's when New York's going to open up. And that happening on the 29th is great because that's going to be like a good opportunity to get us into a trade. All right, so the 29th is going to be there. It's a Tuesday. So we'll probably be having... A good time good opportunity to get into the market around Tuesday and Wednesday All right, so I hope that helps I hope astrology um, <laughs> I hope astrology is of interest to you normally a lot of people think this is weird but it's not really weird actually laws of nature just influence everything just like our nature influences us all the laws of nature um, which are embedded in all of us and in life as well affect and influence everything all right so if you'd like to learn how to read the charts for financial astrology and also for your personal personal life as well you can always get in touch with us at the global trader dot club or globe um, or you can even send an email to global trader club at gmail.com um, the ata is our strategy for astrology and we have the automated technical analysis methodology, which is this one here. All right, as you can see, this is our template chart on the monthly, on the weekly, on the daily, four hour and one hour. So according to what we can see, okay, and the, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Exactly the lines that I've drawn, the market came and touched sell levels, buy levels. So we can get rid of these already. There we go, beautiful. Um, we do live analysis every day, so that might be of interest to those who are new, because you can only learn trading on the job, all right? And so you need a methodology, a strategy, and as you can see here at the bottom, I've got nice lines here. So we'll probably see the market pushing down, okay, pushing down, down, down a bit more. As it pushes itself down, we'll probably find a nice buying spot um, at the end of the month. All right, looks like a Tuesday at the end of the month. Um, I hope that helps. And if you want to learn technical analysis, the automated technical analysis method, which is this template here, and also astrology and technical analysis, that's astro technical analysis, the ATA strategy, then drops a line. We're putting together a group of people where we can actually all trade together. So when we trade together the same thing, um, it makes us really, you know, consistent, professional, and we keep to this, keep to the rules, and we become a community of traders that use the same methodology. So it works out rather nice. In the meantime, have a great Sunday. Have a great week. All the best.